welcome back to Minecraft Challenge. Yep, so today we're still in our little. Whoa, we found out too close. There we go. Open the doors there. It's a bit weird opening. So today, as we were in the clouds, we just completed two new buildings. Two new builds, which you're going to see in a minute when we're going to also do a time lapse as well. Which is still difficult, but yeah. We're here on top of our tower again, as usual. So let's go into first person, there we go. And uh, the clouds are finally starting to break up here. So we can see, we can see a little bit of the tops of it. There she is. There's the two new ones over there. Like I said last time, we've got some uh, white and wooden, you know houses. I don't know what they're officially called. What years are you? I think it's Georgian or Elizabeth Vinson. Blah, blah. Sometime in that realm. But we've got two over there. And I do like them. Quite nice looking buildings as well. And decided to do two do 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 to do two. Because yeah. it fills the area quite quick and they're quite good to um, to fill in as well. You see it, that area is coming quite along quite nicely. Going to be starting to push over to this way at some point as well. Fill in some of that green over there. We need some more trees planted somewhere. I'm going to start planting trees over that way just to get some more trees around because I like trees. Nice for environment. As you see, the little boat is there or the ship. I haven't done much to that at the moment, so I haven't done the, any extension to get to the to the ship. I haven't done any of the interior to that yet. I just haven't done any interior to the actual mansion over there yet which is probably going to be something I'm going to be doing in the next video but first of all let's go down to the actual builds let's see what they're like over here let's take a nice little landing there we go you see we've got our path starting to grow here I'm going to try and get completed at some point get all connected these two connected up I'll start bring over here so we can get it connected to the next one over there then hopefully get the other one connected as well so we've got a nice fully connected area so this whole like green grass area here needs to be sorted out I'm going to put a guard in here I need to level it up a little bit Have the green up a little bit, blue all up. First, we need to sort out where we're going to put the road to pavement at the moment, how high that's going to go. Also, I might put a, another garden round about here as well for this house because this goes around to wrap it around here somehow. Then we've got this area here that needs to be. Needs to have sink on it as well. Or not. I might could just be like colored trees. I don't know. Not got no plans for a minute. So let's go and start with this one, because this is the first one you're gonna see seen built. Being built, not seeing built. I think we've got some skeletons somewhere as usual. So you see we used the bricks and we also used a spruce logs with the snow as well we use snow because it's it's not too white it's got that blue tint in it as well I think having it too white would be a bit off-putting gotta put something there as well put some stonework there as well oh he's in the shop 
what are you gonna buy? Yep, so as you see we left this open a little bit. This end open. I might knock through this wall at some point. <coughs> Maybe to see to extend the road outwards. If I don't go this way with the road. Because we've got a load of not too much land over this way. Got loads. Loads of stuff happen over here. So yeah, we've got all that there. So we can extend either extend that road or extend the dock road, dock pathway up to this way. That way might be good. Don't know. Anyway, going on a tangent then. Let's go back into here. So we come in here. Got these nice lanterns. Got lanterns pretty much all over the, the both the actual area. So we go into this first shop. We haven't named them yet. Need to start naming our shops. This is like a, a sofa and city shop. Don't sell no other furniture, but that yeah, it's not too bad. It's quite easy, plain easy shop. All these are easy to build shops as well. And uh, we got in here. I think we got we've got somebody in here. We got somebody. Let's kill this one just in case. Sounds like we've got a villager. Let's get that sword out instead. Shall we? Our sword out. There we go. It's a lot easier. Don't worry, I saved you if you're in here. Don't know if there's anybody in here. Don't know. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do something about this kind of area here because it's all different shades at the moment, different woods. It's a bit of a, a, bit of a shame over there. I might extend the cases over there. So this is a bookstore. We sell all kinds of books. We've just got the bookshelves and some of the thingy bobbies there with the books on it. These are just blank. They can't read them because they've got nothing on them yet. Might put something on them in a minute or later. Got a nice till again. Just a basic shop. You can hear us a fire because there's a fire up top. So yeah, that's just the bookshop. Again, you need to name it at some point. And here is a picture shop. Just a load of random pictures in here. Again, nothing special. It's just something different again. Got these um like fence posts with the photo frames on them. So it gives you that like a dangling look just to fill in this gap, this whole space out a little bit. I think it would just be all blank. It's all space and look horrible. Might put a two in there if I get a chance. Also the windows are just the grey stained glass. And this here is our little flat apartment type area. So yeah, this is just goes up here. I might just change this wood over at some point so it matches the underneath for the shop. So, this is again just to come in here. And yeah, so this is the living room. Nice, spacious living room as well. It's got some pictures on the wall, television in the upper there, books, book um, shelves there. That's basic some heads on the walls, it's not nothing new in here, just you know, average house sitting room that we may have probably seen before. Got these nice big beams going through the whole area, which just gives it a little bit more depth, which I'm liking. Nice fireplace with a little hatchway so you can start burning people, nice heads. Again. So this is going to be like the dining area as well. Have a couple of pictures. A little bit empty here. Might just get some shelves in something like that. I don't know. So these are just stairs. We can try to use the a new different kind of 
methods for our dining, dining tables. Have them a little bit lower so I can eat off. Again, really garish colours in here. Really not very nice. Go and put some curtains up at some point as well. So I don't normally do that. Got an open planned kitchen as well. It's very really low ceiling thingy will be plank of wood. Yeah, this was originally going to be a bathroom, but we changed my mind halfway through. So yeah, now it's a kitchen with dining area. So yeah, it's using the pretty good expansion. So this is going to be plates and yeah, plates and dishes and all that stuff. Nice little um, working top blue. And we use this, this as the fridge which we've used before. I think it looks really nice because it's got those like kind of door handles. Kitchen standard. Yeah, so it's all standard in here. Still using the lanterns. So we go into this, it's like a, a hallway, first bedroom, second bedroom, so it's like a two bedroom apartment. Again, wardrobe. We're using a different type of build for the beds. These are steps. We've got two types of steps in here. We've got both this one you know, on top of the Java. Then we're using a block just to extend the actual bed, making it look a little bit more bigger, a little nicely like some of those little tiny little beds that we normally use. And we've got a bathroom, toilet. Got no light in here, why well, we got no light in here, there we go. So again, standard looking bathroom, toilet and bath, nothing new. And same with the other bathroom in here. Uh, nothing new, just a little bit new with the actual trap that was for uh, like a covering for the sink. But yeah, so it's just standing in here as well. Opened kind of planned for both of these bathrooms. Do like this kind of pattern here. Got it on the other building as well. So again just using wood and some carpet. Got like a pillow area here which is pretty nice. Could do that with the other one as well. Just use a no not that that one there. That there onto the other side just to give them like a little bit more depth like so yeah it gives it a little bit more depth as well so yeah so it's nothing really new it's just it's, I think the bits are quite new I haven't done those before so those are quite new so nothing really that special is that a different colour? Or is it just a, a shade? I think it's just a shade. Yeah. And also you get a little bit of a view from here. For set for the little trees. You get a better view here of the ship. Again, just using the grey stained glass. As you see, we've got the same pattern on the of a building as well. Oh, I've got to show you the outside as well on this one because it's a little bit different. Don't know if I'm going to keep it. Give me that one up. Use these kind of doors here because they look pretty much look old enough for these kind of areas. I don't know if I. There's the Wandering Trader. I see we've got this kind of wooden effect on the sides of this one. I didn't do it on the other one. But you've got this like an in-depth thing, give it a little bit more of a 3D look. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Didn't do it up here. I tried to do something up here, push it out a little bit, but it looked really odd. So I just didn't do it there. Didn't do it even there. 
maybe next time if I do another kind of like this kind of build I might pop it out a little bit out a little bit more like we did here just to pop it out give it a little more depth on top I don't know yet might not just do it this kind of way even and I might do it I don't know so this is the second house as you see we like I said need to finish the outside of it but the inside is pretty much a good so like some like join again got a different door I don't know why I put that door on for but it is a different door so this is like kind of the hallway reception area got a nice couple of benches here so if you want to put shoes on something like that a couple of pictures and we're also using these um, item frames as well as kind of like a display pieces so you've got some couple of display pieces here a bowl for your keys this lamp here gives us a little bit of extra light yeah do like this quite a nice little house you've got a little like a little area here which so you can get out to the back put a little bit of like a garden area here maybe then we go into the living room so this is quite a small living room as well got a couple of big, nice big chairs, no telly in here decided this family isn't really like a telly family got a couple of bookshelves, got some big areas here, pictures nice fire, fire as well, so I've decided to put a fire in this living room plus the uh, actual I didn't put no tr plants in here, I'm supposed to put plants in there. Okay, let's put some plants in there. Let's put some of... Can I put some of these within ones in? Yes, I can. There we go, some couple of plants in there. Again, a little trinket that they've collected. There's not very much in here. Very basic. Pardon me. Now we're just going into the kitchen. Again, this is pretty much a open plan kitchen. We've got a nice like seating area of benches with some item frames as well as placemats, which is pretty nice. Nice look. Nice fridge here using the terracotta. Or is that cement? No, I think it's terracotta. Yeah, I think it's ter terracotta. So you come in here, you can see the um, boat from here. I don't think you see very much from here. Oh yeah, you can see it from here. It's got a little bit of a <coughs> tree in a way, sorry. So these are coal pieces, I think. It's coal or terracotta, can't remember. With wool, white, wet carpet on top. It's standard um, kitchen. I want to put the... Um, put that one iron trap door in there there we go just give it a little bit more of a bush put it on there though. there we go that's better with a sink with some couple of cupboards there it's not very much in here as well basic these are very basic living areas these this ceiling is way too low way too low should have gone a little bit more down and it out a little bit more. If I did that, I would have lost this doorway. Not too bad. We, we learn. We always learn. I want to change that because I don't want an end. There we go. Up to this second floor. You see, I'm going to start the corridor here. I might want to try and connect all this up together. Maybe. Not too sure. This is the master bedroom really big bedroom could have really put another bedroom up here if I wanted to really but you know, this is the master bedroom this is what they pay the money for as you see nice view out here you can see the tower is normal the little gatehouses got school over there don't want to look at that when yeah that's not a very good view so again using the sand blocks as well as a So yeah, I'm a 
really liking this bed. This is a king size bed or queen, queen, whichever is biggest. Use those pillows. Using this end pile tool as well as a bedside table. Um, you know, don't look at it too keto because it's floating, but it's okay. I was losing a lost a bit of art wardrobe anyway got a little display terrible here of flowers so you can yeah maybe put stuff in here and stuff I don't know got a bathroom in here a bath nice big bath for the two people who live here to actual have a bath together nice uh, fire as well it's nice warm and a little dressing table as well for mirrors. There's not very much in here as well. Could put a painting or something up there just to break it up a little bit. Maybe. I've got a couple of pictures there. This is a, the second bedroom. So this is the next big bedroom. So you've got a couple of pictures there. Again, not too big, so you can't put much in here. A nice small wardrobe. Okay, nice little view and some land so this is sandstone orange sandstone I believe again and we go to this last bedroom this is a smaller kids bedroom I see this is where we how we did it we got two um, box and put them together so I just put those there too give some of our lights there we go and the lights don't don't put a little cover on top there we go yeah, a little bit brighter I don't want to put anything on this wall because it's got a this pattern so I think gives you a little bit more of a look to it again we're just using this as a small wardrobe very much a kids room kind of thing or a spare room when guests come over got a nice little view as well so I think that's about it apart from the little bathroom again this is a standard bathroom nothing too special about it we can sit here and you can have a little bit more view so yeah that's basically this. Those two buildings all done. Got the space filled in. Let's go out here. So in the next video we'll be doing some smaller bits. Um, I'm going to be doing completing this road. Get this road completed. Some of the gardens as well. Get that done. Also, gonna be expanding this a little bit out a little bit more. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, if we take this out to so about here, right about here. So this gives us a bigger platform. It also means it's a, a little bit less of a bridge to get to and from. I'm going to be completing this one as well, hopefully. Someone's filling all this again, yep. Put some stuff into it. Also, do our interior of our mansion as well, because that's important as well. Get that done. Also, I might be starting to do with the plan of. Oh, good job, I don't die. Making a start on the plan for our buildings over this way. That's what our next builds are going to probably going to be starting over this area. I want to try and get some couple of the of new buildings starting at some point. I don't know how far 
down or well, how far up I'm gonna start building them yet so I don't want to keep them on one level and start as you see these these are pretty much on the same level all the way through here apart from when you get to the school and uh, to the pub area what are they doing they're not supposed to be they're supposed to be protecting all the villagers that we've got got a load of villagers and some sheep so to the, try to try to liven the place up a bit make it look like it's been lived in so that, that's pretty good just just that there is a, a lot of stuff happening why is leaving that door open for still for sale nobody's bought it yet a shame so yeah next video we're going to be doing the some fillers bits and bobs some pretty stuff I think just to give some more details out then after that video we'll probably start in on the this side a little bit then after that might start on this side as well don't know what I'm going to be doing on this side but start trying to figure out what I can do on this side as well so yeah we're getting somewhere don't know what we're getting but we're getting somewhere also just start doing some plans for this area here as well build a tank up for that but overall, it's coming along. I hope you're going to enjoy the little montage we're going to do now. So I'm going to see you in the next... Start again. I'm going to see you in the next video. So goodbye for now. Goodbye.
three.